Okay, what's up, everybody? So today we're going to be diving in the world of EMF protection. And if you're not familiar with EMF, don't worry. I'm going to touch base a little bit on it. But we're going to be talking specifically about the LifeTune Ares Tech products that you may or may not have seen. But apparently this little guy actually helps with too much EMF exposure. Now, of course, in this video, we're going to touch base on these products and I'm going to review them personally because I've had a chance to use them for about 30 days. I'm going to give you my honest feedback. But uh, before that, I do want to talk about EMF in particular, what it is, uh, what it's caused by, kind of the EMF spectrum, as well as some of the negative side effects potentially that could happen if you have too much EMF exposure. And of course, how do we prevent it, right? And that is the goal of these products. But the question is, are these products a gadget that you need in today's tech world, or is it just another piece of tech that's going to, you know, collect dust in the house? But if you don't care about EMF or you already know about it, check out the description below and I'll leave the timestamps of my actual review towards the end of this video. And you could just skip to that if you want. Now, before we dip into these Aries tech products, I do want to discuss what is is EMF, how it's actually caused. More importantly, should you be worried about it? Because after all the research that I've done and the rabbit holes that I've gone in, it's terrifying especially in a day and age where you have to have tech around you in order to get things done, whether it's work or personal life. So should you really be worried about too much EMF? Let's find out. So what is EMF? Well, you can look up the spectrum for yourself because it's pretty wild. And personally, I mean, I knew there was some devices that emit EMF, but I didn't know how many things on a daily basis that I personally use. But the big question is, is it actually dangerous or is this just pseudoscience, right? I'm going to list some of the concerns here uh, on the screen, but a simple Google search will give you the bad news. Too much EMF exposure could actually increase your risk of cancer, impact your sleep, and it's been linked to headaches and could even affect child development, not to mention fertility issues. And it's very interesting because if you look at the studies of fertility, it's staggering because you can compare the increase of technology versus the amount of infertility going on in the United States. In fact, the fertility rate in the United States has been declining for decades. So is this a coincidence? I don't know, because personally, my wife and I have dealt with fertility issues, and it's very fascinating, that whole subject, considering both of us tested fine and everything was great. So is there some sort of underlining issue that we're not too familiar with yet? But again, you know, there's other health concerns uh, that maybe we should be worried about. For instance, the increased risk of cancer. Some studies have actually suggested that prolonged exposure to high levels of EMF could actually increase your risk of certain cancers, which is why they say never to have your phone near your privates or your butt for too long. EMF exposure has been linked to headaches, fatigue, and difficulty concentrating, which you may have kind of felt this after more than an hour on your device, right? We might think it's because we're looking at the screen, but it could be the EMF exposure. Some other studies about sleep have actually come up with too much EMF exposure, particularly from devices like smartphones and Wi-Fi routers, could actually interfere with the melatonin production, disrupting some sleep patterns. There's even things like DNA damage that have come up, where some research points to EMFs potentially increasing oxidative stress in cells, which is linked to inflammation and chronic diseases. Now, you might be asking yourself, uh, you know, I'm careful with EMF. I don't even think I'm around things that actually emit electromagnetic fields. Well, you'd be wrong because here's how phones, according to a lot of research, actually emit EMF. Phones communicate with cell towers using RF waves. Then, of course, there's Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, which we're all very familiar with. These also use RF signals to maintain connection with other devices. And then there's electric and magnetic fields. See, phones actually produce low-frequency EMFs from the internal electronics when they're actually in use. And some other things that I learned is here's some key factors that are affecting EMF emission. So distance, that's probably the biggest thing, right? Because EMF exposure decreases significantly with distance. For example, you might have heard that you never want to hold your phone directly to your head. And then, of course, there's overall usage. EMF levels are higher when phones are making calls, downloading, or uploading data. So essentially, when your phones are working, they're going to emit more EMF. Now, what's fascinating about Aries Tech is the whole idea behind Aries Tech from the research that I've done, uh, they don't actually stop or erase EMF. They modulate. Uh, modulating EMF just means that it will change or alter the strength or pattern of the electromagnetic field over time, essentially manipulating its characteristics like amplitude or frequency, rather than simply having a constant level of EMF exposure. And I've done some due diligence and I found some reviewers that have talked about using Aries Tech's products in particular. But of course, do your own research uh, and don't take my word for it. But I thought these were very fascinating reviews 
that you might want to consider if you've thought about looking into EMF blockers or modulators such as this. I got one of their bundles, kind of worked out well the time of year that I picked these up because they were having a really good deal. Now, personally, I can speak to this because I've been using these products for about a month. Mainly the Zone Max is probably one of my favorites just because I keep this in my office because I'm around devices all the time. And then, of course, I have the Lifetune One. Uh, and that's on my phone. I also picked up one for my laptop because I do a lot of traveling anywhere you have your devices on a daily basis. That's probably the best way to do it. And then sometimes when I don't have my devices on me to protect myself from other people using their devices, right? Because if you're surrounded by people, you might not have your specific Lifetune device on you. You can still protect yourself. And that's where the Lifetune Flex or Go comes into play. So now I'm protected no matter what. I don't necessarily like necklaces. Uh, I don't typically wear this for a fashion statement. I wear this to protect myself, um, even though I, I must say, I mean, it does look kind of cool. I get a lot of questions about it. And, you know, they do a good job, I think, of making these kind of appealing and not so distracting, you know, specifically the Life Tune One. I mean, that's that looks pretty cool. Now, let's talk about how I felt. I did feel a difference. I, I really think so. Now, whether it's placebo or not, I couldn't really tell you. But I think the better question is, is let's think about a multivitamin. So you could do your own research and a lot of people will say vitamins are pointless, but some people say that overall vitamins are beneficial depending on the type of supplement you're taking. But do not take this video as any type of health recommendation or anything that you should and shouldn't do. You know, being surrounded by technology so much, especially with, you know, batteries and Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth and all the electronics that we've just been saturated with as a species uh, these last couple of decades, all that can't be good, right? Like some research points to the contrary where it's not that big of a deal and it doesn't affect us, but then there's a lot of research out there that says it is dangerous. I just don't think there's a lot of research yet because all this is, is new. So again, going back to the multivitamin, I look at it like it's better to be safe than sorry. It's better to take it than not take it. If there's a 1% chance that it's gonna be beneficial and help me and protect me from all this EMF, I think it's worth it. And you know, I've only been using them for a month and uh, I'm here to tell you the headaches that sometimes I would get from being on my devices for too long. Again, we think it's because you're looking at a screen, but those are actually signs of too much EMF exposure, those have drastically decreased for me. Again, this is when I'm using my devices uh, all day, right? These these Aries Tech Lifetune products. When I'm using them all day, those symptoms decrease. I, I feel less fatigue. You know, my eyes don't hurt as much. I don't get those, those headaches. And you know, more importantly, I just, it's more of a peace of mind for me because I think Aries Tech might be onto something here. And look, they're trusted by some of the biggest names in the world right now. And look, at the end of the day, I think in about 10 years time, we're gonna know a little bit more when it comes to EMF exposure. But you know, back in the day, doctors used to prescribe cigarettes to patients. Fast forward a few decades later, now we know cigarettes are horrible for you, right? You look at your friends and you're like, you're still smoking, man, they're so dangerous. And I think we're gonna look at phones and EMF exposure the same way, which is you're not wearing an EMF blocker? Because obviously devices aren't going anywhere, right? Which means EMF exposure could be on the rise and we could have more and more dangers lurking our way, but we won't know about it until there's enough research behind it. So I think personally, just me as a father, as a content creator, as a YouTuber, for me, it's just better safe than sorry. Have you used any type of EMF blockers? Have you felt any benefits? Leave those comments below and let me know what you guys think. Maybe I'll do like a, a follow up in six months and kind of see, you know, if I have any changes <laughs> on it. But if you're looking to pick these up, I have left a link down below where you can see these. That's all I got for you today. Thanks as always for watching guys and stay healthy humans.